Our planet has a way of throwing some crazy and unpredictable things at us, and this is where you'll find some of the worst of the worst in history. From blizzards in the desert, to tsunamis with unimaginable power, we'll show you the deadliest and most destructive natural acts ever to affect the human race. Welcome to Worst Natural Disasters You Didn't Know About. 12. Dalatpur Saturia Tornado The United States and its Bible Belt isn't the only place where these violent, whipping winds destroy and wreak havoc. And that's very apparent from this horribly destructive tornado. In fact, there are several tornado hotspots across the world, including in South Africa, the UK, and, as this example shows, Bangladesh. It's the latter country that holds the title of World's Deadliest Tornado, and it happened on April 26, 1989. It's believed the tornado produced winds between 111 and 217 miles per hour, and it tore through central Bangladesh's Manikanj district. The 0.9 mile wide twister destroyed everything in its path, including crops, trees, structures, and homes. More than 80,000 people were left without homes, 12,000 were injured, and another 1,300 lost their lives in one of the worst tornadoes on record. 11. Peshtigo Fire Do you want to hear a huge coincidence? You know the Great Chicago Fire? The fire that caused $200 million worth of damage, took 300 people from the earth, and burned thousands of structures to the ground? Well, the Peshtigo Fire, burnt across Wisconsin and Michigan, claimed 1,200 to 2,500 lives, burnt 4 million acres, caused millions in damages, and it happened the same day as the Great Chicago Fire. Crazy, right? This Great Fire was caused by a firestorm. It tore through forests and eventually got so hot that a fire tornado happened and burned down the entire town of Peshtigo, Wisconsin. We don't hear about this one nearly as often as the one in Chicago, but it was more destructive, deadly, and happened at the exact same time. 10. Lake Niles Gas Cloud This crazy and scary event took place in 1986, and the worst part is that this could happen anywhere there's a volcano with the right conditions. Some lakes claim lives by drowning people, some by freezing them in their icy waters. Then, some take lives with poisonous gases. You see, Lake Niles came to be when a volcanic eruption left a crater that subsequently filled with river and rainwater over time. The lake still exists today, and constantly emits CO2 into its water. And while there are many such lakes like this around the globe, Lake Niles is especially dangerous because it's so calm. Other crater lakes move, so the CO2 continually rises to the surface, then distributes into the air. Lake Niles' CO2 remains on the bottom until one day, it just erupts to the surface creating a deadly cloud of poisonous gas. That fateful day in 86, in just 20 seconds, 1.6 million tons of CO2 was released and devastated villages in the surrounding area, causing 3,500 livestock and 1,700 people to suffocate. 9. Desert Blizzard in Iran Now, most people wouldn't associate the Middle East with blizzards, but it does happen, and the snowstorm in Iran in 1972 is proof of that. What's crazy is that this was one of the deadliest blizzards ever, and it all started on February 3rd. Temperatures quickly dropped down to minus 13 Fahrenheit, and more than 26 feet of snow were dumped on the region. And not just in the mountains, but all over the country. It was so bad that even snowplows couldn't keep up with the mass amounts of snow coming down so fast, and it took six days to rescue many who had been trapped beneath the snow. Of those trapped, many went without food or water for days, and the frigid temperatures helped spread a deadly strain of flu that had a near 100% infection rate. It wiped out a bunch of villages altogether and claimed more than 4,000 lives, and is to this day the worst blizzard ever. 8. The Vargas Tragedy The state of Vargas in Venezuela was literally devastated in 1999 by the worst storm to ever happen. The beautiful area on the coast was pounded by a freak storm which caused landslides and flash floods, and many people were either buried, crashed, or swept out to sea. Estimates have it that 30,000 lost their lives during the course of the tragedy, meaning that roughly 10% of the entire population of Vargas was wiped out in one foul swoop. More than 10,000 homes were wholly destroyed, and everything from sewage systems, roads, electricity, water, and telephone systems were affected for years following. The area isn't new to deadly storms though, as looking at records, they seem to occur roughly twice a century, but none have ever been as catastrophic as the Vargas tragedy of 1999. 7. Waskaran Avalanche We've seen blizzards in the desert, 
gas clouds released from lakes, and fires that tore through entire cities. But how about earthquakes and avalanches? Here's where those come in. A 7.9 magnitude earthquake rocked Peru on May 31st, 1970, and caused an almost unbelievable amount of destruction. The quake itself was bad enough and claimed a lot of lives, but it also created significant landslides and avalanches that wreaked even further damage. The earthquake was so strong that it shook loose a huge chunk of the Peruvian mountain Huascaran, a piece measuring roughly 3,000 feet across. The section of the mountain collapsed and between 1.7 and 3.5 billion cubic feet worth of rock, water, and mud rushed down Huascaran in just 45 seconds, traveling at 120 miles per hour. It wrecked and buried everything in its path, including the village of Yungai, taking the lives of nearly its entire population. Only 350 people in the village survived out of 25,000, 300 of which were kids who were out of town visiting a circus. 6. Heat Wave in Europe The most dangerous and deadly heat wave that's occurred in recent history happened just 15 years ago, and what happened in 2003 was some pretty scary stuff. The wave itself was caused by an anticyclone, a weather system with a center that air circulates around. It brought really dry, hot tropical air from the east over the continent, and that combined with the after effects of the previous year's El Nino and global warming combined for one heck of a heat wave. The loss of life during this strange storm was enormous. Roughly 70,000 people perished from all kinds of complications, including heat stroke, dehydration, and heat exhaustion. Not only that, but farm animals and crops suffered greatly as well, as did many industries. Now for the horrifying part. Scientists think that by about 2050, every summer could be as hot as the one in 2003. We all better make a move underground. 5. Mount Tambora Eruption Well, this is brutal. Roughly 1.5 million people live on the island of Sambawa, which belongs to Indonesia. In 1815, between 70 and 100,000 people lost their lives in seconds when a volcano named Mount Tambora erupted. Tambora is 8,930 feet high, and it's only about half as big now as it once was. The 1815 eruption was so strong that the volcano blew the top third of itself off. A 12 cubic mile ash, dust, and gas cloud and almost immediately claimed nearly the entire island's population. Tsunamis spewed forth in every direction, and 36 cubic miles of rock, aerosols, and ash were injected into our atmosphere. That cloud blocked the sun and brought the average temperature of the entire world down 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and everyone felt it. Crops failed, and famine began, and to top it all off, the eruption changed the weather, causing snow and deadly frost to occur in the summertime in some countries. You can imagine that added to the volcano's deadliness. 4. Bola Cyclone In 1970, the deadliest cyclone to ever take place happened in what is now Bangladesh. Both Pakistan and India weren't communicating things with each other at the time due to high tensions. They didn't even tell each other about the significant events such as cyclones, although they share a very cyclone-prone coastline. Bangladesh was called East Pakistan at the time, and their government ignored warnings, recommendations, and a disaster plan that could have saved many lives. Instead, the Bola cyclone raged through the area and took out about 45% of the population of a city called Datsumudden. Tides climbed up to nearly 20 feet, and winds topped 140 miles per hour. Following the event, an election was held, replacing those in power with the Awami League, who escalated conflicts and started the Bangladesh Liberation War. This led to the birth of Bangladesh, and one could say the Bola Cyclone was responsible for it. 3. Shakshi Earthquake China has a land area of 3,705,407 square miles and is the fourth largest country in the world. Roughly 500 years ago, the massive Shaanxi earthquake rattled about a third of the vast nation. The quake hit a magnitude between 8.0 and 8.3 and wholly devastated 97 countries throughout the region. Every single building in Hoxian was basically obliterated, and many other cities were left in about the same condition. The Shaanxi earthquake wasn't the biggest quake in history, but the loss of life was so significant because it hit an immensely populated area, causing some catastrophic problems. Yeodongs, or dwellings carved into soft rock, were popular at the time, but highly unsound structurally, and many people were crushed when their Yeodongs collapsed. Historians guess that around 830,000 people perished in this terrible natural disaster. 2. Huge Earthquake in Crete This gigantic and deadly tsunami took place on July 21, 265 AD, 
How do we know about this crazy event that happened so long ago? One man took very detailed notes and made sure to capture the events that occurred, kind of like a play-by-play. -play. We know that Crete, a Greek island, had every city on it destroyed in seconds by an earthquake, which also caused insane amounts of damage in many of the surrounding countries. Libya, Cyprus, Egypt, Spain, Sicily, and Greece were all hit hard, and the quake was so strong that it even raised parts of Crete nearly 30 feet. It caused a tsunami that devastated many places, including Alexandria in Egypt, and some of the areas sent waves and boats inland around two miles. Experts guessed between 300,000 and 500,000 lost their lives in the devastating event. We've seen some devastating natural disasters so far, and we still have our top spot to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, what kind of natural disaster do you think would be the worst to experience? How would you survive the hardship? Let us know in the comments down below. 1. Yellow River Floods We finally made it to the worst natural disaster ever, and it happened less than 200 years ago. In 1931, weather which had already been bad for a couple years turned even worse. Heavy snow hit the Republic of China hard, and when it thawed in the spring, water levels everywhere rose, especially in rivers like the Huai, Yangtze, and Yellow. Roughly 70,000 square miles were flooded in waters that were 14.7 feet deep, which is the equivalent of the depth of an Olympic-sized pool covering an area as large as Syria. These flood levels lasted six months, and many people didn't make it past the first wave. Those that did had to deal with disease, starvation, dehydration, and more, and they got basically no aid from the Chinese government. Roughly four million people perished throughout the course of the storms. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor and leave a like. Subscribe to our channel below, or by clicking on our logo right here, so that you never miss out on any of our excellent uploads. And be sure to check out this next video we've picked out just for you.